Ian Story Moore, welcome back to the city ground. Firstly, how are you? Very well, thank you. Not 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 too bad for an old devil now, you know. So uh, actually, I was just looking at the picture. It's a little bit different from when I played on it. <laughs> Fantastic. Just tell us a little bit about why you're here today. Well, I think they do this, um, you know, VIP every Saturday, don't they? So uh, Simon asked me if I'd do one for them this season, and uh, why I said yes was because you know the hospitality I receive here for match games is absolutely superb. So you know Nick Randall, the chairman, invites me every Saturday or whenever the game's on. So. I feel it's just right and proper that I should try and give them something back, yeah. It's been a good run for the Reds recently. What have you made of Steve Cooper's side over the last few weeks? Well, I mean, he's done extremely well, hasn't he? He's had an excellent start, hasn't he? Probably might be a bit, probably the biggest test they've had today, won't it? You would think that uh, apparently Fulham are playing well and got one or two decent plays, so I think that would be a good yardstick today, how, uh, how much they are improving. Delving back into your own Forest career, obviously over 100 goals for the Reds. Does anything in particular stick out in your head as, as a personal highlight? Well, I, probably they all say that goal I scored against Arsenal in, uh, I think it was um, Boxing Day 71. You know, when I sort of picked the ball up, I think somewhere just outside our penalty, I managed to sort of uh, weave my way through and score a goal against Bob Wilson. So probably in terms of go- scoring goals, that was a highlight, yeah. And lastly, your prediction for this afternoon's game? Well, I think it's going to be tight, isn't it, really? So it'll be interesting to see how far is fair against this supposedly good side. But uh, I think if they can continue to play how they have been doing, I think they should get something out of the game. Ian, thank you for your time. You're welcome.